Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Mega Man Fan, and I'm pretty excited right now because the day has finally arrived. This is March 6, 2017, and my package has arrived. It's something I pre-ordered months ago and had to wait a few extra days to get, but it is here. At long last, it's here. My very own Nintendo Switch. Kudos to the ship to store for Walmart. They packed that pretty well. Let me get this box out of the way. Ah, yeah. I'm trying to stay calm for the video, but internally, I'm just jumping up and down like a kid on Christmas. Switch miss! Box looks to be in good shape all the way around. That is only part of the story. Unboxing it is the rest of the story. I think I might actually have this upside down. All right, there you can see the top tray with the Joy-Cons and the Switch itself. One whole tray just comes right out of the box with those three things. And the Switch itself. First time holding it. Feels kind of like a, a Kindle Fire in weight. Like a Kindle Fire HD. Don't know if you can make that out, but that's where game cards go. Some cooling vents. Looks like a screw there. Volume buttons there. Power there. And a charge port on the bottom right there. Oh, let me just take it out of the bag. Make it easier for all of us to see, wouldn't it? There you go. Apologize for the glare on the screen there. And uh, more controls. Where you dock the Joy-Con. And on the opposite side as well. And all the buttons I previously mentioned. And I'm guessing that's covering up something. It's not obvious to me just yet. Well, I have time to figure this out after I finish unboxing, right? But at least I know where to put the game cards. I just also need to know where to put the memory. Because I bought a memory expansion. I suspect it might be under that. So I'll put this back in the bag for the moment. Wow, these are, they have a good weight to them, but they are a little smaller than I actually thought they would be, but not bad. Curious to see how the HD rumble is going to feel once I actually try it in a game. That's to come yet. What else do we have here inside the box? We have warranty and safety guidelines. And underneath that we have what I'm going to assume is the dock. It sure appears to be big enough to be that. Come on out. come on. Yes, that is the dock for the switch itself. You can see where it slides in, where it connects. Some USB ports on the right. And that's it. Not a whole lot to show other than that. I believe this tab actually 
hide some of the cords, but I'm not going to get into that right now since I'm not setting it up. I'm just unboxing it at the moment, but that's that. Set this back down. And there's one here. So we got a Joy-Con grip for each side. That's good. So far, things are largely as I expected them to be. There's the non-charging switch grip. You saw me unbox the charging one in a previous video. Set that back down for the moment. And we got some cords. We got an HDMI cord. We're hooking it up to the dock. And we got the power supply. Might as well go ahead and take that out of the bag. This will run from the outlet to the dock that the switch is docked in. So there's that. HDMI, power supply, and I think that's pretty much all there is to see. That's everything that you get inside the box for the Nintendo Switch. Top panel with the stuff you need most, bottom part with the power cords and cables and charge dock and control guard grips and yeah 